What Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam makes faridha, Allah has also made faridha. This is a point I want everyone to, to understand. You know, some people wrongly think what the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us to do is called sunnah, so we can do it or not do it. And what Allah taught us to do is called farad, we have to do it. Wrong. Yeah, if you ask them, what is sunnah? They say, sunnah are the things which were said by the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we can do them or not do them. Well, faridha is what Allah has told us to do and we must do it. I say wrong. That is not correct. What the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made compulsory is compulsory. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not speak of his own authority. وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَإِنْ يُوحَىٰ he does not speak of his own authority. Everything he says, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is wahi. It's a revelation from Allah. So if Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, don't do this, it is haram. In the same way, something is haram from the lafz of the Quran. The messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a sharia. He gives us the sharia. That's his job, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we can't say what is said by the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have an option. We can follow or not follow. And then what is said by, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is faridha. When you say follow the sunnah, say no, sunnah is not compulsory. What is compulsory is faridha. I want to tell you, sunnah is faridha. Sunnah is faridha. You would ask, but then... Why, why do we say some things are optional? You can do them or not do them. Yeah, they become optional. If the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself regarded them as optional. If Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did them sometimes and did not do them at other times, we say these are optional things. Therefore, we, 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 we can either do them or not do them. But if Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commanded us to do them and he did them every time, then they become compulsory. For example, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, do not wear something that drags on the ground for men. Men should not wear something that drags on the ground. If someone wears isbal, something that drags on the ground, what do we say? Haram or not haram? It is haram, pure haram, just like haram uh, proclaimed in the Quran. For example, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, uh, keep your beard. He said that Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? And he always kept his. Did he ever shave Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He never did. So if I, if I shave mine, what does it become? I've disobeyed him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ He does not speak of his own authority. إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَىٰ This is, this is wahi. This is wahi. It's our belief in the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that everything he made wajib, everything he commanded, we're supposed to follow. There is no extremism in that. The world has been brainwashed, including fellow Muslims, unfortunately. They told them, Obeying the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is extremism. If you obey Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you're being an extremist. Just follow what is written in the, in the Quran. How? How's that? Who said, Buni al-Islam ala khams? Buni al-Islam ala khams is found in the Quran? Where is it found? In the Hadith. And we all firmly believe that Islam has five pillars. Based on what? On the words of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we know this to be compulsory. Because it was said by the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who taught us how to pray? How to pray Salah? Is there a description of Salah in the Quran? There's no description of Salah in the Quran. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam showed us how to pray Salah. And he said, Sallu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. Pray the way you have seen me pray. If we don't pray according to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is our Salah correct? No, it should be. It should be correct. After all, what was done by the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is optional. Isn't it optional? So our Salah, even without following the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, should be correct. Sunnah. Is Sunnah compulsory? 
It is compulsory. He took that, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we have to follow that.